Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on the EOS R5 and we're going to be doing a tutorial on making eye tracking even stickier than it already is. Yes, the R5 has an amazing eye tracking technology. It tracks really well. I never have any issues with the, eye, with the R5 missing focus, but there is a way. There is a way to make it even better. There's a setting in the menu and if you change it, it makes the stickiness even stickier and it prevents the camera from losing your subject even if something comes in front of the face. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around. <laughs> Roll the intro. All right, is it tracking me? Is it tracking me? I can't see. Did I fool it? All right, so the R5 has passed the plant test. It'll track your face, even if you're holding a plant in front of it. <laughs> so the, uh, I gotta say that the R5 is leaps and bounds ahead of the EOS R. The EOS R was pretty good, but the technology that has gone into the EOS R5 is incredible. The auto, the, IAF is fantastic and this setting in specific is really good because what it allows you to do is lock onto a specific face and uh, track it. So let's say there's a quarterback on the field and you're shooting a football game and you have other athletes running in front of the quarterback, this setting will allow you to stick onto that quarterback with all the other players running in front or let's say if you're a wedding photographer and you want to stick onto the bride while other faces you know, walk in front of her, if she's walking through a crowd, it'll actually stick to her face. Now. Keep in mind, I haven't actually shot a quarterback on the field. I haven't shot a broad, haven't had a chance. COVID has kind of like shut down my business, but I have tested it out with friends. And in theory, this should work really well in practice. So let's jump into the menu and I will show you the settings right now. All right, so let's jump into the menu here. We hit the menu button and we are in autofocus tab number three. And what we want to do is go down to this setting where it says movie servo AF tracking sensitivity. Okay, so here we go. We have a sliding scale on the left side. It says locked on and on the right side It says responsive and by default, it'll be set to zero. So what this means is this When it's set to responsive What that means is that the camera will respond to whatever pops up in front of the subject matter So if you're tracking a face and something pops up in front of the face The camera will track whatever it is that's in front of the face So if you always want to focus on whatever's closer, this is where you want to be and at default, the camera kind of decides on its own whether it wants to continue tracking the face or track whatever pops up in front. It kind of uses its own decision making. It's not strong one way or the other, so they'll get what you get. And if you set it to locked on, it'll try and track the face and lock onto it no matter what pops up in front of it. So that's a good setting to have, especially if you just want to track an eye and not let anything interfere with it. Obviously you can fool the camera at times, but uh, if you really want to track the eye and make things super sticky, that's where you want to be and hit okay. All right, so if you're the type of videographer who makes videos about people, you are welcome. This video was for you. Hopefully this helps you improve your craft, improve your skills and make better videos. So enjoy this new knowledge and go create videos. <laughs> that's what it's all about. And if you found this video useful, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel because this EOS R5 is pretty amazing. And I'll be doing a lot more tutorials on the things you can do with this R5. So yeah, with all that being said, peace out. I will see you guys in the next video.